Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. <laughs> Welcome to Classic Game Room, coming to you from the future in outer space, where it's time to take a trip back to the 70s for the review of the Fairchild Channel F, which comes from a time of 8 tracks, disco, and wood grain finish on everything. You gotta have respect for any game system that has its name printed on the AC adapter in giant reflective lettering. It's the Fairchild Channel F. Originally released in 1976, this is one of the world's first home video game systems. With an incredible style that outperforms its modern rivals. Boasting two lightsaber style joysticks, a wood grain finish, VCR buttons, and an 8-track player. Yeah, it's pretty much the best thing ever made. Now apparently this is the Channel F System 2, and I don't have a System 1 to compare it to, but... It does work, and it reminds me a lot of the Magnavox Odyssey 2. Let's take a close-up look at the styling. Anything with wood grain is amazing. I wish I was made out of wood grain. That would be solid. And speaking of solid, this thing is nearly as old as I am, and it's certainly aged far better. No white hairs to be found on the Channel F. Check out the handy lightsaber holding device, and technically this thing actually predates Star Wars and lightsabers. Damn, it's old. But it may have the best video game cartridges I've ever seen. These things put the Neo Geo MVS and Magnavox Odyssey 2 cartridges in their place. Let's face it, these look like 8 tracks. Kids today listen to downloadable music files. Superfly had an 8 track player. You do the math. The only design problem I have with the Channel F is the location of the video output which is tucked in beneath one of the controller holding devices. Now, Fairchild Semiconductor, originally a division of Fairchild Camera and Instrument, is no longer a force in the video game industry. However, they are still around and will hopefully return to the game industry with the Fairchild Channel F System 3, which will be exactly like this thing, except it'll have an HDMI output off to the side. Here's hoping. The controller is interesting, unlike anything else I've ever seen. It's like a lightsaber with a twisty knob on top that you can push in or pull out. Unfortunately, this particular machine has one of the controllers damaged, so during two-player games, that's the one Brandon uses. I've been trying to fix it, which is why it's taken so long to get to this review, but as it turns out, I'm only good at breaking things, not repairing them. The Channel F will require you to upgrade to a color television. May I recommend a Trinitron with a remote control? It's the way of the future. Here's some of the other games. I love the box art and the packaging. The late 70s were awesome. Labyrinth. Somebody should make a movie about that and then cast David Bowie because it would be weird. Here we have Fairchild Channel F Baseball. Did you know baseball has been around since the 1970s? Here we have Fairchild Channel F Blackjack because gambling on anything with a wood grain finish is groovy. Seriously though, I love the colors and packaging designs. I wish modern games came boxed like this with giant numbers and rainbows. Space War. What's that? War in space? Unheard of. I think it's time for some Fairchild Channel F reviews up in the Intergalactic Space Arcade. Now, did you see in the packaging there it said, Ask your dealer to see other video cart cartridges? Who sold these things? Was it Sears or Radio Shack? Move over, Bentley CompuVision, because it's Fairchild Channel F time, where the F stands for fun. <laughs> this game. How's Brandon gonna do? Uh, go. Good job. I'm going to play Brandon in Space War on the Fairchild Channel F. Brandon, were you alive in 1976? I was not. Yeah, He's guaranteed to lose. Yeah, I don't know. Especially this. considering he has the broken controller. Oh. Shh, don't tell him. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start the game. And you're going to move back and forth. Okay. How do I do that? I win! 
Ben! We couldn't resist that, sorry. You see? You turn left for tens, right for ones. So I'm going, I'm going to bet 98. It's an elegant controller for a more civilized age. Yeah, actually it's not. I'd, I'd prefer a Sega Genesis yeah, controller. Nine. Doesn't work with one though. Now what? Uh, what does... Did I break the Fairchild Channel F. does make some of the worst sounds in the history of the universe. And the games are rudimentary by today's okay. standards, but you gotta give this thing credit for still working. Even if the controller is genuinely bizarre. Okay, we pull up to stay, everybody. See this? I'm glad this was never attempted again. You really gotta watch where you hold this joystick when you're playing this game on camera. It's... While it's an interesting piece of video game history, you're better off with a Magnavox Odyssey 2 or a Jari 2600. Serious bonus points go to the 8 track cassettes, the fact it's still working in the wood grain finish, though. To go negative. So a huge classic game room shout out and thank you goes to George from North Brunswick, New, New Jersey. Jersey. Hello. Is this thing on? Is it see time on classic game room when we play video whiz ball? Which is actually a very good game. I've played this one. Sounds sounds good. You may not like it much with a broken controller, but I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. Thank you, George, for sending the Fairchild Channel F and the games, which you'll see reviewed right here on Classic Game Room. Yes. You made green things happen. Today on Classic Game Room, we're going to play Labyrinth. Did you ever see the movie, Brandon? No. Jennifer Connelly's in it. She's a little bit young, though, but it doesn't change the fact she's in it. 